nationally known Lawton saddle maker will be recognized at the upcoming Western Heritage Awards. The Oklahoma's Brian Painter says Howard Council puts his passion for roping into saddles. And it's a passion recognized by many of his close friends and peers, including George Strait, an avid team roper. Strait has five council saddles. While Council is set to receive the Chester A. Reynolds Memorial Award for the 50th Anniversary Western Heritage Awards on April 16th at National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. It's a deserving award for a white cowboy hat wearing native Oklahoman who has tooled saddles ridden by about 45 professional world champion rodeo contestants. On each saddle that I make this stamp before the saddle goes out of here, I wouldn't want to turn one out with this stamp on it unless it was the very best that I can possibly do. There's no way I can make a perfect saddle, but I try to do the best I can on each one. And so this stamp will be around, uh, hopefully now, some of these saddles be around for many years. I've got some out there now that's 60 years old, so theoretically I might have some saddles around in the next century for 100 years. And this, they never deteriorate, deteriorate if they take care of them. So this stamp with my name on it, you know, means a lot to me. We haven't made very much money in this business. It's hard to make a lot of money with your hands. You can just turn out a limited number of work. So you make money with your brains and I'm out of luck there. <laughs> so with my hands, I've just done what I can over the last 60 years. We made a living, I'm not complaining. I've done what I love and work with people that I love. But money-wise, monetary-wise, uh, most businessmen or people would not consider me a success, I guess you'd say. But friendship-wise and customer-wise that, that I know so many years, different ones, I consider myself pretty rich.